we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section analysis that appeared in national eligibility test. The problem is on improper integral and uh, this has appeared in CSIR NET exam held on 26th November 2020 and it is from the section C and it carries 4.75 marks. The problem is for P belongs to the set of real numbers capital R consider the improper integral i suffix p is equal to integral 0 to 1 t power p sin t dt which of the following statements are true option 1 i p is convergent for p is equal to minus 1 by 2 option 2 i p is divergent for p is equal to minus 3 by 2 option 3 IP is convergent for P is equal to 4 by 3. Option 4, IP is divergent for P is equal to minus 4 by 3. We have the given integral IP that is integral 0 to 1 t power P sin t dt. Let us look at the options. In these options for P is equal to 4 by 3 what happens we will discuss here. If p is equal to 4 by 3, then i suffix 4 by 3 is equal to integral 0 to 1 t power 4 by 3 sin t dt. You observe that in this integral, the limits are not infinite. The limits are not infinite and this integrand that is t power 4 by 3 into sin t is not becoming infinity at any point in the interval of integration that is the 0 to 1. So therefore it is not an improper integral and it is a proper integral. It is an integral which has neither limit infinite and the integrand does not approach to infinity at any point in the range of integration. Therefore it is not an improper integral, it is a proper integral. Now further see that this integrand is continuous in the range of the integration. Therefore it is, it is integrable and the definite integral exists finitely. So note that the integrand is continuous function in the interval of integration. Therefore the definite integral ex exists finitely. It exists finitely means it is a convergent integral. So that is thus IP is convergent for P is equal to 4 by 3. The option 3 is true. Now before discussing the other options, let us first of all know this result. This result will be used you know, in the discussion of the remaining three options. Integral 0 to 1 sin x by x to the power of p converges for all p less than 2, diverges for all p greater than or equal to 2. I will prove these results now. Now let us take uh, the first one. Integral 0 to 1 sin x by x to the power of p dx converges for all p less than 2. We have mod of sin x by x to the power of p can be written as mod of sin x by x into 1 by x to the power of p minus 1. This is less than or equal to 1 by x to the power of p minus 1. How it happens? So look, look at uh, the sin x by x curve. So sin x by x curve and it takes the maximum value 1 that is at x is equal to 0. So sin x by x is uh, a decreasing function in 0 to pi and sin x by x is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0. So mod of sin x by x we have written less than or equal to 1. Now what happens to this integral? This integral, the, 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 the integral of 1 by x to the power of p minus 1 and if we know 
you know, some results regarding this, then we use the comparison test for the uh, improper integrals. So that we will state here, theorem. Suppose f and g are defined on an interval i, and let 0 less than or equal to fx less than or equal to gx for all x belongs to i. That means fx and gx are non-negative valued functions for all x belongs to i. Then, and uh, 0 less than or equal to more fx less than or equal to gx for all x belongs to i. And uh, if the integral gx dx over the interval i converges, then so is the integral fx dx on the interval i converges. And that is comparison test. And uh, if the integral fx dx on, an, on the interval i diverges, then the integral of gx dx on the interval i also diverges. Further, we, we know if, if the, the integral of mod fx dx over the interval i exists, that is converges, then the integral fx dx over the interval i also converges. We also know this result and this will be very useful. Integral 0 to 1, 1 by x to the power of p dx converges if p less than 1, diverges if p greater than or equal to 1. Now, let us look at uh, this result and uh, what happens? Integral 0 to 1, 1 by x to the power of p minus 1. It converges when the exponent is less than 1. That means when p minus 1 is less than 1. So now, integral 0 to 1, 1 by x to the power of p minus 1 dx converges for all p minus 1, the exponent less than 1, that is p less than 2. So, this, con this converges, this integral, this, this integral, improper integral converges. Therefore, this also converges, the integral of this also converges by comparison test. By comparison test, integral 0 to 1 mod sin x by x to the power of p dx converges for all p less than 2. Now, to remove this mod, you we use this result. This result. So this will imply integral 0 to 1 sin x by x to the power of p dx converges for all p less than 2. We are using this result. So that is the first one. The second one is about the divergence. Integral 0 to 1 sin x by x to the power of p dx diverges for all p greater than or equal to 2. So note that sin x by x to the power of p can be written as sin x by x into 1 by x to the power of p minus 1 and sin x by x is greater than or equal to sin 1 by x to the power of p minus 1 for all x belongs to this unit interval 0 to 1, uh, open at 0 and closed at 1 end. Why this happens? This happens because sin of x, sin x is an increasing function in 0 to pi by 2 and its maximum value in this interval 0 to 1 is sin 1. And further, uh, yeah, x, x lies between 0 and 1, 0 less than x less than or equal to 1, therefore 1 by x is greater than 1. So, sin x is the maximum value sin 1 and 1 by x is greater than or equal to 1, therefore sin x by x is greater than or equal to sin 1. Therefore, now see what happens here, sin 1 is a constant, now, integral 0 to 1, 1 by x to the power of p minus 1 dx, you know, diverges if p minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 using this result. So, this, so integral 0 to 1, 1 by x to the power of p minus 1 dx diverges for all p minus 1 greater than or equal to 1 that is p greater than or equal to 2. So, this diverges and sin x by x to the power of p greater than or equal to therefore this diverges therefore this also diverges by comparison test. By comparison test, 0 to 1 sin x by x to the power of p dx diverges for, for all p greater than or equal to 2. So that is the result what we have established. We are now ready to discuss the remaining options and we have this given integral ip. Now to discuss about the improper integral nature of this. We will take p less than 0. When p less than 0, then this becomes an improper integral. And uh, let p is negative, 
let p is equal to minus m where m greater than 0 then ip will become integral 0 to 1 sin t by t power m dt and now it is an improper integral because sin t by t becomes you know becomes infinite at 0 so now we use integral 0 to 1 sin x by x to the power of p dx converges for all p less than 2 diverges for all p greater than or equal to 2. So therefore apply this now 0 to 1 sin t by t power m dt convergent for all m less than 2 divergent for all m greater than or equal to 2. So m is equal to minus p you write down. So ip is convergent if p if minus p, my 1 m means minus p, minus p less than 2, but p is less than 0 also, p less than 0 and is divergent if m is minus p greater than or equal to 2 and p less than 0, p less than 0. So that means the ip is convergent if p greater than minus 2 because minus p less than 2, therefore p greater than minus 2, p and p also less than 0 and is divergent if p less than or equal to minus 2. Club these two and you will get this. And ip is convergent if minus 2 less than p less than 0 and is divergent if p less than or equal to minus 2. That is ip is convergent if p belongs to the open interval minus 2 to 0 and is divergent if p belongs to the infinite integral infinite interval interval minus infinity to minus 2 closed at minus 2 n. Now let us look at the options. Let us look at the options. We have to talk about p is equal to minus 1 by 2, p is equal to minus 4 by 3, p is equal to, p is equal to minus 3 by 2. So now they all belong to minus 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2, minus 4 by 3, they all belong to the open interval minus 2 to 0. Note that p is equal to minus 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2, minus 4 by 3. They all belong to the open interval minus 2 to 0. Therefore, ip is convergent for these values. So, therefore, ip is convergent for all these values of p. So, for p is equal to minus 1 by 2, convergent and option 1 says convergent. Therefore, option 1 is true. And for minus 3 by 2, it is convergent but it is given divergent therefore it is not true. For minus 4 by 3 it is convergent but it is given as divergent it is not true. Thus the options 1 and 3 are true and the options 2 and 4 are not true. So the options 1 and 3 are true and the options 2 and 4 are not true. So that is the discussion of the solution of the problem from the analysis and the problem is based on the concept of improper integral. I hope that you have understood you know the solution of this problem and uh, go on working out some more problems on improper integrals and uh, improper integrals is a very important section in under analysis and uh, examiners will be giving some problems many a times. So I wish you all the best. Thank you.